Hello, my name is Jada, founder of Unbound Creation, and welcome to my first YouTube video. Today I wanted to talk about the fact that I've been doing nothing for the past month and a half. And by that I literally mean that I've just been sitting and thinking. So you may be wondering what about and also how is that even possible? Well, I was lucky enough to be able to work at a pretty good job for about four years. My last two years of college and then two years after that. And the reason back then that I had been working at this job um, was because I got this idea somewhere throughout college that I wanted to do a bike trip cross country and then back. And eventually I did convince one of my friends to do it with me. And so with that goal in mind, um, I was doing this job to be able to first pay off my loans and then save up enough money where I could be financially secure enough to be able to travel for two years and not have to work in the meantime. So because of that, I was able to save up a good amount of money, but unfortunately a month and a half into the trip, I got into a car accident. A car hit me and broke my left shoulder blade. So I had to, you know, change plans, pivot. I was complete completely unexpected. After going home and thinking about it for a little bit, I I realized that I had been wanting, I had had these two business ideas before going to the trip and I had put them on the back burner because um, I had been more excited about the trip at the time. And I felt like if, you know, in my youth, if I didn't get to it now, then I probably wouldn't do it in my later years. And the business could always wait. But obviously since the trip could no longer be a possibility, I started thinking, okay, well, I, I might as well just get going on these two business plans, even though it was earlier than I had planned to do it. I felt lucky that I was able to go back to some to doing something that really interested me uh, and not just doing some random job because I had to pay some bills or whatever. So yeah, that is why I started to do to um, dedicate dedicate myself to developing mostly one of my two ideas, which is Unbound Creation. So anyways, um, I moved to Florida and I got started working on my business just like I had planned. And yeah, it required a lot of work um, because Unbound Creation is basically my magnum opus. It, I meant it always to be sort of a container for all my creative works pretty much for all my life, or at least the ones that I had foresight to document in my teenage years, whenever I would do illustrations, uh, portraits of famous people or people I knew. And then also definitely of all the creative works that I'm gonna do from now on. So Unbound Creation is basically just a portfolio of all my photography, my illustrations, like I said, both traditional, which is what I used to do, and then digital, which is what I'm transitioning to doing more of now. Short stories, short films, um, poetry, and then music. So obviously that probably sounds like a lot. It's basically seven different categories of creative things and then a blog and a shop on top of that um, and it definitely was a lot especially because uh, going into this website I had only really created one other website which was for my other business idea the karate corner so I still had a lot to learn in order to be able to develop the and make a reality the vision I had for unknown creation because I didn't want it to just be some cookie cutter sort of website based off of a template or something. I really wanted it to reflect my personal vision and what I'm about and what I hope Unbound Creation to be about. And so because I had to learn along the way and then also because I had sort of haphazardly documented all my creative works up until now because I had no idea at first that it was going to double up into a website. That all took a really long time to gather all my creative works and then organize them in a visually pleasing way 
decide how I wanted to present them to the world. So all in all, that probably took around a year and that's not just working here and there, that, that I was literally waking up and that would be the first thing I would do because I don't know if you can tell, but my room is my studio, so I would get up from bed, go straight to my desk and just start working away. And at some points I would even be going to bed at like 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m. And it was from the time I woke up to the time I went to sleep that I was working on this website. And I would really only stop to go to the bathroom or make myself some food. So if you do the math, it's about 16 hours, if not more, of a work day. And that was weeks and weeks of that. Um, so you can imagine how much time and effort went into this website. And I was doing it because it was really satisfying and fulfilling to me and something that really interested me. And I realized that I had in some way uh, always wanted to do something like this. You know, I, in my earlier years, I didn't give myself full credit for how creative I was or could be. I didn't think my talent was worth sharing, but now that I had some sort of platform where it opened up that possibility uh, of, of sharing my creative nature and then my self-expression and also being vulnerable to the world in that way. Yeah, it gave me a ton of energy and motivation to do this. Um, so at first I definitely really loved this project, but you know, after a year, and then this is on top of around a year of working on the Karate Corner as well. So really in total two years of just going, going, going nonstop without having time to, or without giving myself time to reflect. You know, it started taking a toll on me, even though I didn't really notice it at first. And it shifted from being really positive, um, you know, something that just lit me up and gave me a reason to get up every day excitedly and you know uh, it felt like it was what I was brought to this world to do. It, it changed from that to being more of a distraction and I say that because you know having moved back to Florida my college town after the unexpected accident and in the midst of COVID meant that I really didn't have that many friends or like a social outlet here. I was fully dedicating myself to this website and at first that was really good because I feel like it needed that time and attention and energy to like meet the potential that I saw in it and I was able to make a lot of headway doing it but slowly that changed into just distracting me from the fact that I was lonely and didn't have friends and didn't see a way out. So yeah, I eventually, even though I didn't realize it at first, was doing this website um, because I had nothing better to do, honestly. And uh, that's not the way I want to live life and definitely not the way I want to put this out into the world. It's not something I want to do out of um, a sense of duty or out of the sense of um, escapism. I want it to be in uh, a labor of love sort of thing. I want it to be doing it because of the joy of it and stuff. So ultimately uh, about a month or two ago and maybe a little before that I started feeling blocked and at first it was uh, you know, not that noticeable. I thought I, maybe I just needed some time, time off, uh, time to rest and stuff. So I went and surprised my mom in New Jersey for her birthday. And that was great. Spending some time with family is always nice and rejuvenating. Um, but even when I came back, uh, you know, nothing had changed. I still felt just as blocked, if not more. And so then I started thinking even more and I was realizing that hmm, maybe, you know, sort of the, the moment I started feeling blocked or noticing that I was blocked was the moment that 
I published my shop page. So at first I thought, you know, that must be the culprit because I felt like as soon as I published that shop page, then it turned into something capitalistic and materialistic and just doing it for the money. And I think that definitely is part of the reason why I felt blocked. But I don't think it's the whole picture. Um, kind of related to that, I also felt like I was even already starting to sell my soul or if, if not now then I thought surely in the future because although I, I had had this job before which was tutoring and I made a good amount of money off of it and it was fun at the time though not what I wanted to dedicate myself to for my entire life. Um, even though I had that really positive experience around money and earning money, um, I didn't think it could translate into artistic and creative endeavors or at least I had a hard time convincing myself and I'm still working on it because of course we're always sold this idea of the starving artist and stuff so I had this limiting belief that I couldn't make the amount of money that I needed to live a good life, a comfortable life, the life that I wanted through doing art and what I really liked. Uh, along with that went, came the idea that people wouldn't show appreciation monetarily or not. That initial, those initial realizations which are all kind of tied together told me that okay there needs to be some deeper work here. Which also I, I've been doing yoga and meditation for since the start of college basically and that also helps me check in and know what I need to do in order to honor how I'm feeling so all of that combined told me I just needed to take a step back and it was time to reflect and I think I had known this for a while but it was really scary to me the, the idea <laughs> it sounds silly now but it was really scary to me the idea of just sitting and doing nothing and being bored like like i couldn't be alone with my thoughts sort of thing and while i could have let that rule me or i could have told myself that i was just taking the lazy way out and i didn't really need a break and i just needed to push through it and keep going um you know let the inner critic uh control what I did. Um, my background, I guess, in, in yoga and meditation told me that that was just the ego talking, the inner critic, and I shouldn't listen to them. And really what I needed to do was take, the, take a break and really honor that. And, and by a break, I don't mean surrounding myself with other people. I didn't need to just spend time on Netflix or YouTube. Um, I didn't need to be reading books on self-help or otherwise. I literally just needed to sit and do nothing and stop distracting myself from, from myself. And so even though I didn't realize it at the time, it was ultimately my intuition that guided me to create space, you know, physically, mentally even emotionally from my website. I just needed a break and that space would allow even more intuition to come into my life and guide me into what the next step would be. So all that to say is that that's the reason I've been taking, uh, I took a month and a half off to, you know, sit outside and try to just be, you know, look at the the bees around me, the birds around me, nature, uh, notice the, how the breeze was making the leaves sway and stuff. Um, sit in my room and just think, no music, which I usually have music on 24 seven. And as I did that, I also started realizing that because I had been de dedicating so much time to my website, I 
let my other habits fall to the wayside. So stuff like cooking and exercising, even yoga and meditation suffered a little bit. And so as soon as I took a step back, I started literally nourishing myself and doing self-care by picking up these habits again. Um, you know, I had been eating wraps and chips for God knows how long because it's a quick, easy meal. But as, I, as soon as I took a step back from the website, I started being more experimental again, which I love cooking, so that's been a lot of fun. Um, I was able to make a friend or I guess solidify a friendship with someone at the college um, because she started a fight club this year and after sitting for probably close to a year almost every day from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to sleep um, I had a lot of pent-up energy and I didn't even realize it so uh, you know fight club and exercise has been a great outlet for that and so yeah this the time that I took for myself and the space that I created was really what I needed to rebalance and recenter. And I'm really glad I did that. Looking at it from the other side, although I'm not, I don't think I'm completely on the other side. I, I think there's still some lessons to learn there. But um, after having proce processed it a little bit, I think I'm, I'm starting to realize that this sounds a lot like uh, what I've heard other people talk about and maybe even Buddhism when they talk about emptiness and space uh, how they say that it's only the space between the words that give the, a sentence meaning and it's only the pause between the musical notes that make a song and make a rhythm and make a beat uh, and it's only really the space between the important moments in our lives that give those moments importance you know it's the it's the yin and the yang i guess the the existence of both that allows you to create one or the other just the way that's true i feel like i needed some space and time away from my website and trying to launch a business and my creative endeavors and stuff in order to really want to appreciate how far I've come and how much work I've done but also be guided into what the next step should be because I'm very much used to just forcing kind of an outcome you know having a goal in mind and doing everything I can to make that possible um, you know using my mind to figure stuff out doing stuff rationally but yeah just a very I guess almost masculine way of doing things versus just allowing myself to to be flexible and um, respond to my environment and honor how I'm feeling and honor what's happening around the world. And I'll maybe go into this in another video, but I think that's also a lesson that I got from the bike accident because I had it in mind that I wanted it to start at a certain date and it didn't matter to me that, I, that it was COVID or that there were a bunch of riots going on across the country or that the elections were about to happen and basically just chaos throughout the nation. None of that mattered. I had something in mind that had to be done that way and that's what I did. But then the universe, of course, uh, put a stop to it because it wasn't it wasn't meant to be at that time so I think that's something I'm really starting to learn is to trust in divine timing and that I don't have to figure everything out you know we're co-creators so yes I'll do my part but I also have to be receptive to what the universe is trying to tell me and so yeah um, I'm very grateful and I'm, I feel very lucky that I've been able to even have this experience and be able to take a month off, a month and a half off, uh, to do nothing. Um, I know that's a very privileged thing and I hope that that won't 
overshadow the message of this video, the fact that I had the privilege to do this because the fact that not everyone can, can do this doesn't mean that those who can shouldn't. You know, it means that those who can should and hopefully because they do, they'll, they'll take the right steps and take that guidance and in and, and so doing bring everyone up, lift everyone up so that hopefully eventually everyone will have the privilege to be able to just be, which if you really think about it, shouldn't even be a privilege, it should just be a right. That's what we came here to do, is just be. Um, so yeah. Yeah, that's all I have to say. So what comes now? Uh, well, being a witness to it, by the end of um, this month and a half break, I started feeling unblocked again. I started feeling a flow of energy again. Um, mostly the, the block had been in my sacred chakra. I don't feel, feel that tightness there anymore. And I've been having more creative ideas again. And not only ideas, but also the motivation to carry them out and energy to carry them out. And this was one of them. Before the break, I I had all these things that I wanted to do and I was feeling overwhelmed, like what should I do first? Um, or like what do I do after the website is done because the website is pretty much done. And YouTube was one idea that I had wanted to do, um, but I had no idea what topic my first video should be or yeah, how to even immerse myself in that world. But you know, it's funny because the idea couldn't have come if I didn't have that break. Um, so yeah, I just I just think the universe is funny, basically. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. If you like this video, so, you know, hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you want. Mm, brand new channel, so I would really appreciate the support. I plan for all of my videos to be of similar content, you know, just me reflecting and sharing the lessons that I've been given um, by living in this life, in this world. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching.